I was a huge fan of Jump Stars when it first came out. I was playing the multiplayer consistently. I tried to get through the story mode, but it was a grind, so I really didn't finish the story mode, but the online play, the multiplayer, that's really the bread and butter of the game and being able to face off with your favorite characters from different properties against other players who are playing their favorite characters was awesome. So when E3 decides to announce Jump Force and they do it in such an epic way because we had no idea what was happening when we were going into it, I thought we were going to get some sort of one piece game that had really high textures up until we saw Frieza's ship. Once we saw Frieza's ship, I knew this is going to be Jump Stars, and it, it is Jump Force, but it is essentially the successor to Jump Stars. And the trailer itself was hype as all a hell. I mean, the only way, the only way it could have been more hype is if instead of Super Saiyan Goku, we got Ultra Instant Goku, and instead of Gold Frieza, we got Golden Frieza. Those are really the only two changes I would have made, but then that would have put those characters at ridiculous levels and I mean right now they are at ridiculous levels obviously if you face these characters against each other in reality they're not going to be able to fare very well against the Dragon Ball characters especially how the trailer portrays Naruto versus Frieza that's not going to go very well for Naruto even at his most OP so the game is really doing a good job at balancing all the characters just like Jumpstars did bringing them down to the level where each character can have a shot and their techniques and their moves and their gameplay is what really is going to win it out at the end and then once the ending of the trailer came and we saw Light with Ryuk that was the definitive moment where this series is trying to portray itself as essentially the Avengers, the Marvel of Japan because that was definitely a end credit cutscene that you get at the end of one of the Marvel movies and it was just done fantastically well. I mean they could have had Saitama at the end and that kind of would have made more sense because it is a fighting game but having light at the end of it i mean i'm thinking that he's gonna be a character that's gonna be in the story element of it i mean you guys are facing off in new york city so that's gonna have its own story as well the narrator is portraying his own story throughout the trailer so there is gonna be some sort of plot Hopefully it's a good one with this game and that's what I was thinking Light's gonna be. Light's gonna be what's propelling the plot. That's why he's at the end because I don't see him as a fighter for the game. But you never know because Jumpstars had characters that were really essentially sort of weak and they ended up being able to fight alongside of Goku and Ichigo and all those other characters. So I definitely like the very ending where you see Light. As far as the gameplay goes, I've seen it. It looks... It doesn't look very similar to Jump Stars. It looks more closely to the Ninja Storm games, if anything. And I'm okay with that, honestly. I really do like the way that that looks. And I love the graphics in this. It looks like Assassin's Creed quality up in here. It looks like some of the high-end games. And you can even see the little individual strands of cloth and the hair on each different character. I mean, they went all out when it went to the graphics in this. And it really does show. I mean, we haven't had like a fully 3D rendered anime game at this quality than back in the early mid thousands where we were getting some Naruto games that sort of try to mimic the same style but really kind of were held back by the technology at the time but now this technology is bringing this above and beyond and the fact that this is on Xbox not PlayStation Xbox that is ridiculous and I'm an Xbox owner I like I have PlayStation and I have Nintendo and so when it comes to Xbox and this being portrayed that it is a Xbox game essentially I know I think I think it's on all the other consoles but I believe that it's being pushed as an Xbox game I more than likely will get this for Xbox and so I want to go ahead and kind of bring up the discussion of what you guys the Black Squad thinks about Jump Force. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section below because I want to have a dialogue with you guys and see exactly if you guys like this game or what you, your, your guys' thoughts are on the trailer and the gameplay and especially which character do you want 100% to be in this game? Let me know. I'll let you know mine. I want Deku. I want Midoriya. I want the characters, some of the characters from My Hero. That is the top anime right now. Whether you think so or not, that is the top anime right that's out right now so that is the one that I'm hoping that it's in the game obviously I want Saitama obviously I want Ichigo but again Deku I think he earns his spot even All Might can also be in there and don't forget to hit that subscribe button become a member of the Black Squad today this is going to be Dragon Ball Black signing off